Hey guys, how are you? It's Max Powers uh, from American Rover, and we are in my quarantine kitchen. Um, I just took my life into my own hands, and I went grocery shopping at Trader Joe's here in Hyannis. Um, those guys are awesome. Uh, you know, they had the line set up outside to get in the store. Everybody was six feet apart. They were like hosing down the. Um, let me step back a second. They were hosing down all the shopping carts with. Uh, disinfectant um, they were doing a pretty good job tons of people working there um, still showing up so thank you uh, but this is basically my haul from my quarantine kitchen from Trader Joe's I'm gonna show you what I got and I'm hoping I just touched my face and I've been outside I'm oh man shoot well I'll deal with that later anyway um, Got a case of San Pellegrino. Sometimes it's just nice if you're drinking water not to actually be drinking water. Um, I also got two cases of um, bottled water. I hate to do it that way. I would prefer to buy like those two and a half gallon jugs. Um, they just don't have them. And I wasn't gonna go to multiple stores just to get uh, one or two items. So I got what I could at Trader Joe's. At least they've stopped putting the cardboard on the bottom. So I feel a little better about that. I'm going to get these things out of my way. Okay. This other box. I bought some wine. Got a couple bottles of Sauvignon Blanc. A couple bottles of Chardonnay. Because uh, I do eat fish with this diet, and red wine and fish just—I don't care what you do. I don't—I don't like the way the flavors go together. We'll just put it that way. The rest of the case is uh, Trader Joe's three buck chuck Cabernet. Yeah. Side note: drink it out of the box. I don't know how much I've had. You know what I mean? I know if I have this much in a glass, I've had this much in a glass. Whereas when I drink out of a bottle, I can see, okay, I've had this much out of the bottle. And equate that at least to reasonable milliliters. Um, right now, like my body will tolerate without throwing me out of ketosis about uh, 300 milliliters in a day. So that's if I want it with my little charcuterie board and with my dinner, that's two glasses of 150 milliliters, which is plenty for me. It's enough so that the flavor's there. It's enough so that I get a little wine. One thing is if you're trying to stay in ketosis and everyone's telling you wine is okay, wine is okay. Wine is okay as far as your carb intake goes negligible um, but when you tramp like four grams of carbs in a glass is not going to throw you out of ketosis what will happen is your body's going to stop producing ketones to digest that alcohol so as long as that alcohol is in your system your body's not producing the ketones that you want it to be take that under advisement I'm trapped in a basement for who knows how much longer uh, so my weight is not that big a concern, but it is something that you should think about if you think on a ketone or a keto diet that alcohol, oh, it's fine, I can have, I can have all I want. No, no, you can't. Let's get back to the food. Um, greens, these are not going to last me long. Um, if you don't open them, they're fine for three or four days until you open it, and then you maybe have two or three more uh, before they go bad. I'm finding that the uh, spring mixes, it seems to be the purple lettuces that go bad faster. So you might want to go with just a green lettuce if you want to keep it for longer. I got some organic baby kale, this and some chopped bacon. Um, make sure you put oil in the pan. So you want to put bacon in the pan, start it up, put oil in the pan with that and throw this in. The kale is going to want some oil to cook in more than just the uh, bacon fat. The bacon fat is going to um, oftentimes 
the second you throw the kale in you're gonna get little brown crispy edges which is okay it's good it's you know it's bacon fat it's delicious but your kale is gonna cook better in uh, like a coconut oil or an avocado oil okay. baby spinach I got bags and bags of frozen spinach um, and it sucks <laughs> I'll eat it where I have to but I think tonight I'm gonna saute some spinach and bacon same thing as the kale uh, just bacon fat olive oil it just adds so much flavor to it if you want to sprinkle a little garlic powder on these things that's good too the other day I made a risotto out of no I didn't I made I made a decent little rice mix it was good but at some point this week I'm gonna make an actual risotto I've got some baby bella mushrooms whole mushrooms um, these will keep for a good long time just in the fridge um, people with MS an avocado a day keeps the doctor away. I got two bags of very hard avocados. I'm going to put them in my little avocado bowl, and as they start to ripen, then I'll pop them in the fridge. And these will probably last for a week on the counter. They'll get to a nice supple feel on the skin, and that's when I'll start to put them in the fridge. I may put a bag in now, but you don't want your avocados to ripen in the fridge because it really kills that nice sweet rich flavor that they have <sighs> shallots and real garlic none of that frozen stuff until i run out of this stuff um but these are just the little things that i forgot to think like i wanted to make sure i had protein i wanted to make sure that i had vegetables and that's it i didn't think about flavors i didn't think about recipes today when i went in i made sure to get garlic and shallots I use shallots because they have about the same amount of flavor in a small onion and a lot smaller pack there are fewer carbohydrates if you use a shallot as opposed to like a, a purple onion or a Spanish onion just silly things that I'm blowing through uh, like salt and pepper so I restocked on those I'll put them way up in the back they won't take up much space real butter real butter I'm using just to finish things um, so I have plenty of my last pat I'm using the Trader Joe's cultured butter it is uh, uh, let's see I don't know just a richer flavor another good butter is Kerry gold um, which is all from grass-fed cows so good butter is important try not to go with you know the store brands only because if you look there's actually a list of ingredients on some of those other butters and some of the stuff in that you may not want in your system if you're watching it I still have plenty but I got some more skipjack um, skipjack tuna when it comes to mercury when it comes to you know Fukushima tuna skipjack tuna is line caught generally speaking and it's just a healthier tuna to be eating I have to tell you it is um, very bright like a almost like a salmon color um, and it's got a lot more oils in it therefore it's got a fishier taste um, I don't even know what this packed in is it water okay good it's in water um, and it's got a little sea salt so though if something's got a fishy taste and you add salt it's gonna enhance that taste um, takes a little getting used to if you're not a fish person but all in all it's gonna be better for you I have one egg and one yolk so one egg plus one yolk which is two eggs minus one white does that make sense but I have that every morning for breakfast with an avocado a drizzle of olive oil and some salt and pepper um, your cardiologist may not like it your neurologist will capers capers don't seem like much but there are so many recipes that can just be topped off with a little bit of capers I don't care if you cook it with chicken I don't care if you cook it with pork I don't care what you're cooking if you have a sauce oftentimes to make a really good sauce you want just a few capers in there uh, my romalade I didn't think I'd have the stuff in my kitchen for romalade I didn't I had everything but capers now I have the capers okay 
one bag down. Should I burn that so the coronavirus doesn't spread? I just use a drop of cream in my coffee. Um, I wrote a paper, I think it was published actually, on um, creams in your coffee. Half and half versus light cream. Um, we don't even want to talk about fake creamers. Fake creamers, no, they're not going to have the carbs. They're not going to have some, like, I don't know how they get around it. They have low calorie. They have no carbohydrates. Ask yourself, well, what do they put in in place? They put a bunch of crap in. Don't touch it. Half and half. Oftentimes, you'll look. And the standards for what they can put into half and half are lower. So it may just say milk, but oftentimes it's milk solids that are a result of some other process uh, and water. And they put that in your half and half and it, it's subgrade. It's not as good for you. Um, yeah. If you, if you want to go for like a lighter flavored cream in your coffee, don't get the half and half, get light cream. My body's looking for fat to regenerate um, the myelin sheath on my brain cells, so I'm gonna give it fat. I use heavy whipping cream. I just use a drop of it in each cup of coffee. Even, you know, doing it that way, yeah, there's some fat added to my system, but there's flavor. Um, and basically, when, because they're not all filtered out, it's, it's good fat. More olives, I still have a ton of them in there. But this goes great on my charcuterie board. I also got some um, cornichons. Um, and just a little goes a long way. You know, in a serving, I might have 10 of these olives. That's about it. So this will be plenty when you figure what I've already got in my fridge. I've got chicken. Oh, I got some bone in pork chops. I haven't had pork in a while. Can't wait to figure out what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to start loading some stuff in the fridge. Uh, more salmon. Yes, frozen salmon. It is a wild caught sockeye salmon um, from Trader Joe's right out of the freezer section. I'll get two meals out of this, two good meals out of this for it's like seven dollars and four cents. I'm not going to lie, I had the mashed cauliflower from Trader Joe's last night instead of making my own. It was pretty good once I added salt, pepper, and some garlic. Just know that. Um, you don't need to make a whole bag, just make a little portion. They come in these little pucks. It's good stuff. It has, you know, some carbohydrates in it. I want to say per serving, it's like five grams of carbs once you subtract fiber. Um, so it's not, it's not a freebie like cauliflower, but if you're looking for something to feel like a starch in your meal, this is damn good. I blow through asparagus. I've got two bags in there. I am adding three more to it. Um, and the other thing is the riced cauliflower. I probably have three or four bags already in there. I was there. I grabbed some more. Um, great stuff to have on hand. Use it for your, your starch in a stir fry. Use it instead of pasta. Use it for whatever. It's, it's handy to have around. And there's a million different ways to cook it. Showed you the olives. All kinds of sausages couple more cheeses. Um, I got a summer sausage and a cheddar, and then I have uh, an Italian salami and that Tuscan peppercorn crusted cheese from Trader Joe's. Good stuff. Um, and just when you don't feel like cooking, it makes a decent lunch or even a dinner with a nice glass of wine. Add to that um, either the olives for the Italian sausage or capers for the summer sausage and um, some kind of complimentary nut. For the Italian mix, I used uh, Marcona almonds, which are somewhere in these bags, I'll show you in a bit. Um, 
for the summer sausage, I will either do regular uh, lightly salted almonds, roasted, or um, cashews, also roasted, lightly salted. More frozen, you know, those little round green things, not peas, the other one. Brussels sprouts. A little chocolate with almond. Uh, I'll just have one or two squares after dinner. Curb the appetite. These are the Marcona almonds that I was talking about. Good stuff. Um, they have them with rosemary and I think olive oil in there. Um, they also make them with, uh, I think it's black truffle oil. I don't like those as much. The rosemary ones are awesome. Parmesan, ground, grated Parmesan and um, Romano. I'm going to try to make a real risotto. I mentioned that. Well, not a real risotto, but a decent risotto. Got some more uh, cacao powder. The stuff from Trader Joe's is actually pretty good. Pop it down. Bacon. I'm going to put this with my meats, and later I'm going to show you how I kind of pack them so that I have like one meal's worth of food. The bacon I do that with and then freeze it because if you leave um, nitrate-free bacon, uncured bacon, whatever you want to call it, I know those are two different things, but I'll lump them in together, um, in an open bag in the fridge or even in a sealed bag in the fridge, it's only going to last you about a week before you start looking and seeing gross brown edges. So if you take out the amount that you're going to use per meal um, and it will tell you right on every package what you should be using per meal. Um, portion it off, wrap it in some um, saran wrap and then I have one big bag that I put the bacon portions in. And I can look, see the bacon portion, open that bag, grab one portion of bacon, throw it in a frying pan. It doesn't take long to defrost. Um, so I just cook it right from frozen most of the time. So if you're going to do that, use a lower heat. I always say that. Use a lower heat. If you're cooking, use a lower heat. Oh. That was more pepper. I restocked also on most of my oils, um, avocado oil, olive oil, which you should only be eating raw. They did not have these little ones, so I got a bigger one, a nice organic uh, California olive oil. I like California. I like Spain. I like Italian olive oils. Something about Greek olive oil. Sometimes I can find one that's really good, and other times I think it has everything to do with price, and I'm too cheap to buy a good one. Ridiculously high bill from Trader Joe's. That's okay. <sighs> toilet paper and coffee. Two things. You can't find any toilet paper. But coffee, the coffees that I'm finding are, are not as good as the ones I would like to buy. Um, they didn't have vanilla bean either, so I got a little vanilla extract. If to your coffee grinds, before you make it, you add a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla, it's going to it's gonna just, not too much, like not a cap filled, just like two, three drops of vanilla. The sweetness and the richness of the vanilla is going to make your coffee taste like $10 more expensive. It'll take a $4 bag and make it taste like a $14 bag, right? The vanilla and some cinnamon. I usually do in like a full pot. I guess it's about one tap. I invert the cinnamon thing and I tap the bottom once for every cup. That's how I measure it. Cashews, almonds. I already have some Brazil nuts. There's some almonds left over there. Uh, more heavy cream. What else do we have in here? Okay. When I run out of heavy cream, which I do, even though I have three things of it, that'll get me 
about about two weeks if I don't feel like going back to the supermarket I've got cans of coconut cream um, I'll take like a heaping tablespoon um, put this in my coffee actually put it in my cup pour the hot coffee over it and it'll melt down and it'll be creamy and smooth is not quite the same taste and you will see the oil slick um, come up to the surface but that's all right it's still really good um, or you could just go right ahead and make like bulletproof proof coffee I don't have any um, unsalted butter but if it runs out I've got it to go with my capers I also have cornichons I don't actually I just put them next to each other on a shelf but similar thing it, it, it'll go uh, with sausage it'll go it's a nice thing to have next to I don't eat sandwiches but if you do you can put it next to a sandwich it's good stuff they're tiny little pickles I got some more clarified butter I'm gonna put it up with my oils because I haven't opened that one I replaced my chicken broth some French roast coffee and uh, more another can of coconut oil because I, I really I like the spray on kind better um, it just lays evenly in the pan it's better as far as the non-stick goes it does have a couple of thinning ingredients so it comes out of the can um, all in all I think it's worth it because I, I don't think the ingredients that are listed on here are that bad for you okay so that is my Trader Joe's shopping haul to go in my quarantine kitchen I'm gonna start putting these things away and at some point maybe I'll do a video on how I package my proteins um, so that I can just pull one thing out and defrost it at a time I do put it all right in the freezer um, I've got nothing else to do but other than wait for food to defrost right now while I'm in my quarantine kitchen so um, I just think it's gonna keep a lot better last a lot longer if I put it right in the freezer right now um, and I think that's everything I think that's pretty much it so that's what I do that's how I you know stay pretty well fed actually it's looking really well fed lately I should probably lay off the wine but you know do you remember that episode of the Simpsons where Marge started having a glass of wine every day and it like you know almost ruined her life yeah we're, we're not there yet all right it's Max Powers American Rover uh, this is my quarantine kitchen and that's about all I have to say about that have a good one